Hey guys, this is Natalie over at Coda CrossFit Native. I'm going to be talking about Tuesday's workout for this week. Okay, you see here we got some heavy thrusters and some chest bar pull ups to start out with our skill and strength part A. So I would say your um, warm up today is going to be 10 to 15 minutes. Five minutes, maybe some general prep, get them nice and loose. And then you need to get a little bit more specific. Let's really go over thrusters. You can talk about, you know, is your group going to do a power clean and then go into their thrusters? Talk about the squat clean, catching in the bottom, and then driving out of the hole that way. And you can do that in kind of a specific warm up up here. Okay, same thing with the chest bar. Let's make a plan in the warm up so that way they have good working sets here and they're sets of five. So in the warm up, five minutes, a little bit of general prep stuff, and then get a little bit specific. Go over the thrusters and then have a skill session set up. Work on those kip swings, maybe get a barbell out on the rig and really go through their hollow positions and things like that. By the time they get here, this will take about 15 to 20 minutes. Obviously it's heavy, but for those of us that are new, we can go a little bit lighter, okay? And then chest to bar pull-ups, we can scale to kip swings, regular pull-ups, anybody can do kipping, they can do butterfly, and you can kind of get that out of the way in the warm-up when you're doing the specific stuff. Okay, then little transition. We have our pacing workout today and really talk about this today. What does pacing mean? You know, we want nice, even rounds. Maybe they get faster as they go, but we don't want them tailing off on that last round. So a good way to do that is to have them get their phones out, keep track of their lap times, and then also have them make sure they choose the right weight here. So let's go through this. Four rounds each for time, 350 or 300 meter row, 16 dumbbell push press, 16 dumbbell squats and then they get to rest 30 seconds just kind of like a little bit of a reset and then they go back into that round okay so this push press and dumbbell squats they should have a chance to go unbroken but maybe they break it up for pacing purposes okay somebody who gets a little bit hot sooner maybe they need to go eight and eight or ten and six something like that just so they don't get too hot but this should be something that they can go unbroken on that last round so make sure we scale the weight Okay, on those push presses, we want those elbows nice and high. Talk about keeping their belly engaged, getting that good dip drive, keeping our feet flat. Okay, so make sure we talk about that during this transition. And then on those dumbbell squats, same thing, keeping our elbows high, and we should be able to see their chest. We don't want anybody pointing their chest down in that squat.